Today, I'm taking you on site while my team evicts a hoarder from one of our apartment buildings. Let's dive in. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the Tenants from Hell show. I am your host, James Wise. What we do here on Holton Wise TV is we show real estate investors just like you the good, the bad, and the ugly when it comes to investing in real estate. It is not all girls in bikinis, fast cars. It is actually a really tough and rough industry and evictions are some of the worst stuff we have to deal with as real estate investors, as property managers, as landlords. For those of you who've been big fans of the Tenants From Hell show, our most popular video to date was the time we evicted a tenant driving a Cadillac Escalade live. We are well over 830,000 views on that video as I film this video today. If you are one of the few who hasn't seen that video, I've got it in the show notes for you. Make sure you check that out. But one of the biggest things, one of the biggest complaints we've had from viewers on that video is you guys wanted to know what happened after eviction day. We ended that video on eviction day. Well, today's video, we fixed all that. We went above and beyond. We went even further. What I'm gonna do right now is take you to the footage my team is there live evicting a hoarder tenant and on top of that we're then going to go over the line by line bid to get that property from what it looked like on eviction day to where it was rent ready to where we rented it out to a new tenant we're going to go over every single dollar that the property owner of that building had to spend to get it from a total nasty hoarder eviction to a income producing asset. What is the game plan for uh, where are we going to set all this stuff? I was going to double check with you. John would like to put it right around this area so that he can have somebody come in at five and just pick it up. Is that cool? All right. Make sure I uh, let the movers know. Just wait. I got it for you, man. Check it out. All right. It's that first door right there on the right. Hello, Bayless. I'll, I'll instruct Steve. I, I'll take care of that. Uh, hold up, y'all. Hold up. Yo, hold up. I'll show you where. Okay, um. Dave, come on in, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah come on in. That's cleared. Everything is. There's nobody in there. Clouds of dust come off in the construction. Ready? I'll set up the camera in a minute. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Holy mm -hmm. mess. You got it? Mm -hmm. I'll set up outside. Good. Yeah, some uh, quality records you might want to check out. This is... You can't even wipe off the dust. That's how thick it is. Let me see. Uh, We're going to get this big furniture out the front room first. We stayed here. Look at how covered with dust that stuff over there is. Um, shine that light on that shelf, man. Look at those albums and stuff. How dusty all that stuff. It's it's a shame. They probably got some quality albums in here too. I bet they're all roasted. So it's a small apartment, but it looks like this. The whole three, you know, it threw out. Wow, it's pretty bad. It's done. It's done. Just cheers. This is in the wood. I can't see what I'm doing. You got something leaking from the refrigerator. That's a hazard. Oh, 
hat. Well, uh, you had up there. Oh yeah. And that's where the pictures come in. You gotta take pictures for the owner and for management. They can go ahead and uh, discuss what's gonna go on after this. You know, in terms of cleaning, repainting. There's obviously a lot of work. There's years of staining from oils and uh, cigarette smoke. The carpet's probably trashed. Huh? You're gonna have to redo practically everything in here. Got some plastic bags. Kids are trying Hopefully to buy that's it. That's the hardest thing to take. <laughs> As you can see, that apartment is beat up. That is nasty. That is gross. But we are real estate investors. We got to get through these problems. We got to get to the other side of this where these assets are producing income for us. So the story doesn't end here. As you'll see, my guys are removing all of that crap from the apartment. How much is all of that going to cost? Well, the first cost is $750. What that cost is going to entail is the Holton Wise team going to court with our legal team and actually evicting the tenant. After that, we have the cost of $1,147. And that includes the team going out, meeting the bailiffs, and actually removing all of the crap from this person's apartment. Like what you're seeing right now, that's $1,147. After that, here's the thing, right? This property, this is located in Cleveland, Ohio. So we took all of that crap out of the apartment. So to get us to be allowed to do that, we had to spend $750. Then the actual cost of taking all the guys over there and removing all that crap, changing the locks, $1,147. Anything that the tenant wanted or the tenant, you know, at that point, all their crap is outside they can go to their pile of stuff and they could take it all with them. If they don't take it all with them at five o'clock, we have to go back to the property and remove all that stuff. You can't just leave crap everywhere. You'll get a fine from the city. So this tenant never came back to get any of their crap. So the charge to uh, get rid of all that crap, go back and uh, take, take all that stuff away, that's another $535. After that, we had to fix up the apartment, right? And this, as you can see from the footage, this apartment was, was totally trashed. Uh, it appears like this person has been living there for like 20 years uh, at least, and obviously they're a hoarder. Uh, so this is like a worst case scenario of how nasty it is. As you'll see, I have the line by line bid on the screen of everything we had to do to this unit, but more or less, we literally touched 
every uh, fixture, every part of this apartment. Uh, so we broke that out into a couple invoices, uh, you know, as my uh, construction team was working. Uh, so the bulk of it, the bulk of that rent ready was $11,061. We've also got the flooring that was broken out on a separate invoice. Uh, that was $1,380. Now here's the cool thing with that flooring. All right, what we did, we had to get the flooring looking good. As you see from the footage on the screen now, that's what the floor actually looks like now. So obviously you have to do something to this floor to get it looking good so you can rent it to another tenant. But more importantly than that, uh, what we did there is we hardened this. So we should not have to do another flooring uh, any, any more flooring work. So at the next turnover, we shouldn't have to touch that floor. And then finally, the last thing that we did to this property, uh, this is not something you're going to have to deal with if you're investing in single family homes or like duplexes, but at apartment buildings in the Cleveland market, uh, it's very common. It's, it, it'd be unheard of to not do this. You have to supply appliances. So if you had a single family home or a duplex, you would not need to supply appliances. But in this case, this is a larger apartment building. So we had to supply appliances and the cost uh, for those new appliances you saw there in the kitchen uh, was $1,208.44. So the total tab on everything, guys, uh, because this deadbeat hoarder uh, didn't pay, uh, outside of the, the, the missed rent between court cost, bailiff cost, junking out all the stuff and getting it uh, renovated, ready to go again, the tab for all of that was $16,081.44. You saw in the footage uh, that the property did look really good after we finished it up. It looked great. One of our leasing consultants, Derek, he was there actually... Uh, you know, that was the day he was out there uh, showing it to tenants. We did end up getting that rented. Uh, it rented that day, as a matter of fact. Okay, so we actually ended up re-renting that apartment for this client for $590 a month. And that unit is back to being an income producing asset. This, guys, this is some of the worst of the worst. If you're going to invest in real estate, you need to understand what you're getting yourself into. Is this going to happen to you every single time? No, absolutely not. This is a worst case scenario, but that is our goal here with Holton Wise TV. We want to make sure you guys see exactly what you're in for. So when something you know horrible like this happens to you, you see that it's okay. There are professionals out there who will help you get to the other side of this. You will get through it. This business makes a ton of money. You just got to get through the bumps in the road. If it was easy, everybody would be a millionaire real estate investor, and that's simply not the case. Like I said, we show you the good, the bad, the ugly here on Holton Wise TV. So do yourself a favor and smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video and share it with a friend. On top of that, if you know someone else who is a real estate investor, a landlord, and they've gone through a horrible experience, a tennis from hell type experience like what you've seen today, uh, post a comment about it in the comments below. Uh, if your story is interesting enough, we love hearing from real estate investors like you from all across the world. We want to get everyone's story out there so people can really see what it's like to be a real estate investor. So we would love to have you on the Tenants from Hell show uh, telling your story to the masses. That's everything I've got for you guys today. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is real estate investing made easy. Just for you guys, don't fuck. my traps, bro. Been work. Did you trap workouts like this? Renovated it. Uh, we're just trying to get it. <laughs> Guest appearance. <laughs> oh, God, I found that. Yeah.
Or get out of the rifle real quick. Sorry. God, I got a cramp, dude. Oh, I got a cramp. Oh, I got a cramp, Tom. Yeah, you don't want anyone walking off of yeah. all over the counter. Shit. Bring, bring it in. Ready? Look at that. See that? See it? See it? It's a pretty big gun right there, baby. What do you have under the hood? What's that? What do you have under the hood? Tank top and guys. <laughs> <laughs> Pudding. Oh, dude, I don't know what's going on here, but I think I'm dying. Some pudding or ho hos? Peanut butter ho hos. Ooh, you want to see the other one? Wow! Holton Wise has a worldwide audience of real estate investors. If you are a lender, home inspector, or anyone else with a real estate related business, who would like to increase your sales and exposure with an ad in one of our videos, go to HoltonWines.com today. Make sure you're subscribed to our investor mailing list. We are going to send you an email with the latest investment properties for sale every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can expect a full video offering just like what you've seen today in every one of these emails. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.